welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, Lucy and I are gonna be giving you guys a apartment tour. We're so excited for this. And we're actually filming this on my iPhone today because mm -hmm. we thought we'd try something a little bit different. And also the iPhone is a lot wider than our camera. So we yes. thought we could really see our flat. So let us know what the quality's like yeah. and if it looks good. We have wanted to film an apartment tour for the longest time now. We've mm -hmm. actually been in this apartment for four years four now, years, yeah. which is absolutely crazy. I can't believe it's been that long. We may move out this year, so we thought we wanted to show you this apartment, but yeah. also we wanted to have it for us to keep. Also, this isn't our finished apartment in any way. There's a lot of things in this apartment that we would like to change mm -hmm. and things that aren't finished, but we just wanted to show you how we have been living in this apartment. Yeah. This year. If you're wondering where this apartment is, we actually live in southwest London. Mm -hmm. And this is a new build. We yes. are the first people in this flat. Yeah. Um, which is quite nice as well. So we're going to show you our entire apartment tour. So welcome to our hall. As you can hear, it's quite echoey. We come to greet our guests. This is also where we come to answer the door, get our deliveries. And we sometimes use the wall down there for photos as well. Um, so this is quite a good photo spot. Right here we have our intercom and this is where we can see if people are at our door, where they can get buzzed in. We get messages from our concierge this way. There's like cameras um, on there as well so we can see if there's anyone outside. Why it looks a little bit dark in here is because we've had to turn off these um, lights because they seem to flash strange on the camera. Then when you come down the hall even more, you have my bedroom this side, you then have Courtney's bedroom, she's our sister, a bathroom and Lucy's bedroom. What we do is we take pictures up against these walls before nights out, and then people would have foundation hands, so we had to get these walls painted again because you forget sometimes that you have makeup on your hands. Now we move on to the only furniture that we have in this Hall, and it is this table from the furniture market, which is an online store. So what I'll do is I'll link it down below if it's still available. I've changed angles so you can see slightly. So first of all, we have this record player, which is from Urban Outfitters. We've had this for a couple of years now. And if I'm honest, it's kind of more of a decorative piece than a piece that we actually use because the sound's not that great on it. I'm gonna be honest. But we do have our Beyonce vinyl, B-Day, best album ever, um, and I love that on the show, just because it shows how much we love music as well. It's the ultimate guide to single ladies, so it actually shows you how to do the single ladies dance, and it kind of describes our personality as soon as you walk into our apartment. We then have this diptyque candle, this is actually a new one, just been lit, but I love that one as well. If you have mirrored furniture, you are constantly cleaning, and wiping over the surfaces because they always get covered in fingerprints. And Lucy and I actually bought a lot of mirrored furniture for this apartment. I don't regret it. I mean, sometimes I regret it because it is a nightmare to clean, um, but I don't regret it because it looks nice. So that's just something to bear in mind if you are purchasing mirrored furniture. But if you clean it every day, you don't have to worry about that too much. Now we're going to take you into probably our favourite room, which is our kitchen and our living room. So welcome to our open space living and kitchen area. So I thought I'd start off just at the door. So this is the door that everyone comes into when they come into this room. This mirror is from Ikea. Great mirror for selfies if you want to take pictures in here, but also just looking to see what you look like before you go out. We normally stand here and just check what we look like before we leave the house. Normally when we're getting an Uber, but of course we've been in lockdown so we haven't got any ubers this mirror was never meant to be here but we moved it for a photo and we just haven't moved it back so and it is kind of annoying that it's right next to the door but i quite like that it makes the room look larger this is where we control our aircon which is really needed in this room because it does get really really warm in here but you can also put the heat up as well in the winter hobbies playing on our tv we have our spotify just connected to our tv of course play it out loud but i don't want to get copyrighted but that is our tv in our stratford flat our tv looks really big but in here because the room is so big it actually looks quite small and a lot of our friends always make fun of us and say that our tv is really small i don't think it's that bad i did say to video the other day if i was to move i wouldn't have a tv i'd actually have a projector because i just think they look better this tv cabinet we've had that since we lived at stratford don't love it but it does the job and then inside here oh we have our dvds our signed joe 
Jojo and some of our favourite CDs, favourite DVDs, all of my One Tree Hill box sets, can you see? The Pride of Joys, I would have them on display if I could, but. And then we have this One Tree Hill print. You always say to me, so iconic. We were gonna put it on a wall somewhere, but we haven't. We might just save it, but it's so iconic, isn't it? So then this is our seating area. Again, we didn't want a sofa that was too big, because obviously there is only three of us in this apartment, but also, Courtney's not here most of the time, so it's just me and Lydia. This is just a really good size for two. Like, you don't really need anything bigger than this. Of course, when we have friends around, me and Lydia end up sitting on the floor, but I don't think anything bigger would have looked right in this room. So this is our plush sofa. This is from Next. It took a long time to get delivered, I remember. We were actually, we didn't have any sofa for a while when we first moved in, but yeah kind of goes with the whole vibe of the flat. The rug is also from Next as well. And again, it's in the crushed velvet. I do really love this kitchen, but I would say if I'm moving into an apartment again, I would really like to have an island. So then we could do like baking videos, because we've never had an apartment that has an island. So this is just the kitchen. What's really nice about this room is it's all open plan, one big room with that beautiful view. And also with the mirror in the back, it reflects, you can see the outside, which I think is really, really nice. So, we have our fridge freezer, toaster, we really want to get rid of that toaster. This is my best friend, the dishwasher. <laughs> then we have all these cupboards along here. One cupboard that I do want to show you, actually. This is our party cupboard. Our party cupboard for when we have all of our friends over. Look at these shop glasses that we have. Nashville, Dubai, Disney. Close over bros, trick, a lot of alcohol in there. This is our mug cupboard, so we have some Disney mugs, which are really, really cute. We have this beautiful mug here. We have our chip mug and our teapot up there. One thing I really wanted to show you, because so many of you ask about this, or these plates, they were quite expensive. We bought them in Disney. Actually, I can't even remember where we bought them from. I think I bought them from the Disney store, the shop Disney, but they also do them in Florida and all the parks. It's a Beauty and the Beast plate. I love these so much. Authentic Disney. I always wanted Disney plates, so I decided to purchase some. So we're in this room all of the time, basically every single day, every second of the day. And I love it. I love that it's so sunny all the time. The sun makes me so happy. So we really love this room. So Lucy's come a little bit closer. This is our desk and this is where we do a lot of our emails, our work. I would never buy a mirrored computer table ever again. It just gets fingerprints over it everywhere. And because the sunlight comes in, you can just see it. But it does look lovely in this room. These lights here are from Next. This is our iMac. This is the largest size iMac. Love editing on this. This light is from made.com and this was actually a moving in present from our mum and dad when we moved into our Stratford flat and we bought it here as well. But the chairs are from Next and we actually got these to match the sofa and match our beds. And this is actually the same crushed velvet as the sofa, so we wanted those to go together. And I absolutely love these chairs. This, this section here, it's not a balcony, but it's also not a closed in area. You can open these windows quite far and it looks out onto the river and it's absolutely beautiful. It's one of our favorite rooms in our entire flat. We actually did have furniture out here, but we bought it and then realized that we didn't really like it. So we gave it to our mum and dad for them to use in their garden. But this is a great space, especially if you're having friends over. And also it's like quite a good space to dance on. We do quite a lot of TikToks on here as well. And also you get the most out onto the river Thames as well. Sun, the golden hour out here today. So this is our view out to the river, so beautiful. Another thing as well, when we moved into this flat, this building wasn't actually here. So you could see like Battersea Bridge, you could see the London Eye in the distance, and then they decided to build flats just here, which is kind of annoying, but we still do get a beautiful view, but you don't get the bridge view or the London Eye, which is a shame. This is also a great section for Golden Hour selfies. Need to take pictures there more often. turn the main light 
light on in here because when you film on a phone, I'm not sure why, the light just flickers. Do you remember when like Joe Sub used to film those videos and he, he would show like yeah. the lines on the lights? Yeah. That's what's happening, which is so annoying. But we hope you can see the bathroom as much as you can. So it's kind of like a creamy colour. This bathroom, actually we let Courtney use this bathroom most of the time. We call this Courtney's bathroom, even though it's the main bathroom. When we moved in, we thought it was really cool that they had a mirrored panel. So when you stand in the shower and wash your hair, like you can see and you've got the shelf, but it's like the worst thing to clean. So if I move into an apartment again, if I had a mirror, I'd go, mm -mm, no, <laughs> too much to clean. It's a nightmare, but um, it looks nice when it is obviously nice and clean. Then we have the sink, toilet, and mirrors. Um, these mirrors are actually a cupboard in there, so they kind of open like this. Just our multi brown hand wash and lotion. This is the lemon and mandarin one. As you can see, it's very well loved. We need to get a new one once we're out of quarantine and lockdown. Then we have the Bobbi Brown body lotion that we love. Then we have the same diptyque candle. Again, we love the scent of this one. So we have that in here as well. Then we have this replica beach walk fragrance that I have in here because I love. And they've actually customized it for me. And then lastly, we have a Jo Malone body cream in Velvet Rose. I don't really show my bedroom like in videos or anything, do I? I chose this room because I had the bigger room in the last apartment, so me and Lydia decided to take in turns. And then I also have this wardrobe area here, which is like a double kind of wardrobe. It's got one, four wardrobes, so you can kind of walk. <laughs> and if you want to see our wardrobe tour video on that, so I'll link that down below. But in these ones, I have my clothes. Um, my kind of night out clothes and also all of our coats that we need to share and cases so we keep our cases in these ones and then we have this rug which is from where is it from lydia amazon i think amazon. it's really soft then talking about furniture again we have mirrored furniture in this room i wanted mirrored furniture because i've always wanted mirrored furniture and it just makes the room look larger but as Lydia said, it is a little bit of a nightmare to clean. It's light. I'm not actually sure where this is from because my mum bought it for me. But I've had this, I feel like I've had this since, oh no, mum bought it for me when we moved in here, I think. I've been in here for such a long time, like four years, that I'm always forgetting where everything's from. And this furniture is from Furniture Market. So in this glass chest here, I have my hair extensions in the top drawer. I'll then show you a little sneak peek. I then have some of my earrings in this drawer, some more jewellery in this drawer, and it goes all the way down to kind of jewellery and hair accessories. My bedding is from Lipsy. Lydia had this bedding before and I decided to copy her with it because I loved it so much. So I actually had this bedding in my room and yeah. Lucy loved it that much that she bought the exact same one. I just think it's really nice. I love the grey tones of it, but I also love that it's got the pink in there as well. There's no colour in this room. It's really grey and boring, but I don't really like a lot of colour. I liked it just to be silver. Yeah. That was the vibe that we wanted to go for. The bed is also from Furniture Market. To be honest, if I was looking for a bed now, I actually wouldn't get a bed like this. I feel like it was trendy at the time. Yeah. But now, I don't think I would buy a bed like this. Okay. But lesson learned. But it does look nice with the vibe. Yeah. I feel like another bed wouldn't have fitted this vibe. It's got the same kind of crystal detail in it as well but because it's a velvet as well it matches our furniture in our living kind of kitchen area so we kind of want it to be all the same vibe so as you can see we have two matching chests i actually wasn't going to have it like this i was going to have small bedside tables but i needed more drawer space in this room so i decided to get taller chests in this chest here i have denim shorts and kind of more summery things that i need to just grab out of the drawer. If I was moving out, this isn't how I'd have my bedroom. This is kind of just a livable kind of way that I've got it at the moment. But I think if I was actually having my bedroom, I'd have short bedside tables. Yeah. Because it doesn't look right, but it just, I need it to be like this for now. So this is my dressing table. It's not really a dressing table, but again, I needed a lot more drawer space. So I decided just to put a mirror on top. So this is where I keep all my perfumes, that really cute, glittery bag from ASOS which I love and yeah some of my favourite fragrances of the moment so I've kept them all on the top there. In the top drawers I have my gym stuff 
and the second top drawer I have my pyjamas. Then this is my hair drawer with my straighteners, curlers, hair dryers. And then this is my mirror. Hello. This mirror is from Ikea. Such a great mirror, it's so big, great for selfies and great for seeing what I look like before a night out. Spotify through this speaker. It is the best speaker ever. It's one of my best presents I've ever received from my mum and dad, and we use it all the time. Oh, got a bit of Justin Bieber. And you can make this very loud. We have this chair, which is from either Wayfair or the furniture market. What I'll do is I'll link it down below and I'll find it. If I'm honest, this chair just gets used for my clothes. I end up just throwing my folded clothes onto this chair or new things that I've purchased or new things we need to take photos in. Today I decided to clean it for the purpose of this video but Lucy will tell you as well this chair has usually got clothes all over it. But I do have my MacBook there as well. On this side we have our makeup so we have all of our makeup in these drawers but on the top I have this amazing NARS stand. It has all my favourite NARS lipsticks on it. I absolutely love this and I think it's too nice not to have on display. If you want to see a full makeup collection in detail we can do that but I'll just show you a few of our drawers. So this one has all of our lip products in, lipsticks, lip glosses, lip lacquers. We actually did have a major sort out of all of our makeup. We had a really big clear out, but this has some of our favorite face products. So we've got all our favorite NARS blushes, some contour sticks, primers, foundations, powders, and blushes. And then we have some of our favorite palettes and things like that. But if you want a more in-depth video, we can do a makeup collection video. This is where me and Lucy actually sit to do our makeup. So we pull out a drawer and we sit here and we do our makeup like this every day. We don't actually sit at the dressing table. We sit on the floor, on the rug. So there might be a few makeup stains on the rug, but the rug is from Dunelm. Now moving on to my bed. This bed is the same bed as Lucy, and this is from the furniture market. Now my bedding. I absolutely hate this bedding. It's new. I've had quite a few different beddings. I feel like I buy bedding a lot because it makes me happy. When I've got like new bedding and a new space, it puts me in a good mood. I got it online. I can't even remember what website, but it's awful. I've tried to iron this. It doesn't look like it's been ironed, but I have tried to iron this. But I wanted white bedding because I normally have white bedding with a bit of silver or pink but I was like no I want to take some cool Instagrams I want to get some white bedding and it's really nice because I can lay in my bed and I can see the river and then this is my dressing table this is matching and this is also from the furniture market so on my dressing table I have a Ricky Ricky mirror and this is what we use for tutorials and for when we do our makeup it's absolutely incredible this mirror actually lights up I would love if I could have a big mirror in my room like this because it's so so good i have my favorite fragrance at the moment which is coach dreams and i have my prince harley tangle teaser out we collabed with tangle teaser a couple of years ago and actually designed these so this is actually our dog and this was a dream collaboration and look at harley on there so this is my sunglass drawer so as you can see 
we have a few of my favorite Ray-Bans, sunglass chains, which we love, some more Ray-Bans, and then some more fun sunglasses. And of course, my all-time favorites, the Celine glasses, which I wear all the time. Lucy has a pair now, I have a pair, and I also have a backup pair in the back as well. And then this side we have silver jewellery, so we have silver and gold. I do wear more gold now, but it is nice to keep some of my favourite jewellery um, and some of my favourite silver pieces as well. And then lastly, I have my projector down there. And then I project my movies onto this wall because this is a plain wall. This is perfect for projectors. <laughs> my ensuite bathroom and it has a bath and a shower but to be honest Lucy does actually use this bathroom as well and you can't tell it's a bathroom because you've got my wardrobes either side and then this door and I really like that because it's kind of like a hidden bathroom so this is the bath again we have mirrors all over this ensuite and the shower is this side and the bath is this side to be honest I use the shower more than I use the bath. So we have some of my favorite Bare Minerals skin products. These are products that I always reach for. So you've got the moisturizers, the night cream, the serums, and I leave those there. And then this side, I have my Magic Night Cream. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the moisturizer I've been using at night. And also I've been trying their new Magic Serum as well. So I've been using those together. So I leave those out and I love the packaging and I just think it looks really nice in here. So in here we have some of my favourite tans, I have a lot of tans, I then have sun creams and hair masks and then I have my skincare here as well. our finished apartment tour we hope you guys enjoyed it if you want more videos like this then click the thumbs up button and also if you want to see more in-depth videos whether that be more wardrobe tours yep. or bedroom tours or like what's in our something drawers or jewelry collections yeah makeup collections things like that then do let us know as we said at the beginning of this video we may be moving again this year so mm -hmm. if you want to see more moving vlogs and an updated tour, yeah. apartment tour, then let us know. Let us know, yeah. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.